guys, Colleen here, DIYer behind LemonThistle.com. Today I'm excited to be joining the DIY Mummy in her organization DIY and Decor Challenge. Make sure to check out all the videos in the playlist below. For my project, I'm excited to be sharing with you this organization hack. I'm using IKEA scrub bins here for my kids' uh, closet. There are three of them sharing a room and this closet was out of control. So before the holidays, we got this custom um, organizer belt. You can also turn an expedite on its side for this. But uh, we were still having issues with the bins being tipped over and dumped out all the time because they didn't know what was in each bin until they looked in them. So we've added these labels and I've got bottoms and tops for each kid with their letters. And then I have all the extra stuff up here. So swim stuff, accessories, stuff that is too big that they'll grow into and stuff that's too small that I need to pack away or save for the next kid. And this is really helpful because we do get help putting away our laundry sometimes and now grandparents or whoever is helping will know where to put the stuff. So I'm going to show you how I made these from start to finish and I've also got the designs that I uh, illustrated here for you as a free download if you'd like to do the same. Before we get started, if you haven't yet subscribed, please do that below so you don't miss out on any more DIY and decor videos. The first thing you'll need to do is to get your design. You can use mine by downloading them over on my blog. I'll leave the link down in the caption, or you can use your own. Then you'll need to upload your design into your design software. I used Cricut Design Space for this, and I'll give you a quick walkthrough. You can add your design into Design Space through Upload, select it as a simple image and a cut only file, and then size it however big you would like. Then go ahead and add a letter of your choice. I just used one of the fonts that's included in the Access program for Design Space, and lay it over top of your design, select both the design and the letter, and then click Slice. This is just going to give you a couple different layers here and you need to turn off the different letters layers, just leaving the um, design with the letter cut out of it. But once you've got all your designs to size, you can go ahead and click make it. I went in and resized mine to get them all to fit on one 12 by 19 sheet of iron on vinyl, which is the standard size that the rolls come in when you're buying from Cricut. Make sure that you select mirror image anytime you're using iron on. Make sure that you put the iron on vinyl shiny side down on your mat before you cut. Once your design is cut, go ahead and weed it. Weeding is just taking away all the vinyl that you don't want to be ironing on. With iron on vinyl, it's a little bit different than traditional to vinyl. You're peeling away all the parts that you don't want and leaving it on the backing. Then once they're all cut to size, you can apply them. I used my Cricut Easy Press for this, but you can totally use an iron. Make sure that you set it for a polyester setting, which for me was 285 for 15 seconds, and after doing a couple of them, I decided I wanted to move it up to 17 seconds for these IKEA scub bins. Let it cool as much as possible before peeling back the film. This will give you the best adhesion without any little wrinkles. If you do find that it wrinkles a bit as you're peeling it back, you can turn that um, clear film over and use the smooth side just to smooth it out on there. When you're all done, assemble your bins, fill them up, and you're good to go. I really love how simple this is. It's a graphic black and white. It fits with our gender neutral room that we have. And I just think it's a really fun touch to have the pictures for the kids that can't read their letters yet. We also took off the closet doors and painted out the trim and put curtains up instead. I love the idea of curtains because then we don't have any fingers getting trapped in closet doors. And if we do want to close it up, we can, but we kind of just keep the curtains tied back like this. It hides the bigger shelves on the sides and the hangups that might look a little bit more messy, leaving access to the things that they use every single day, which is these bins. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed the video and I hope that this will help you get your closets under control. For more rad DIY and decor videos, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up below. See you next time.